You know, it's really no secret that there's a bunch of people that are moving to the state of Florida on a weekly basis. I think the number is well over a thousand. And a lot of them are coming down here to the Southeast Florida region, particularly Fort Lauderdale. So today we're going to be talking about seven reasons why you should either move to or live in Fort Lauderdale. So stay tuned. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Living in Fort Lauderdale. My name is Rob Zioli, and I'm a real estate agent right down here in South Florida. Thanks for coming back to the channel, and if this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and tap that little bell icon down below to be notified anytime I go ahead and drop a new video. I put out weekly videos and content about what it's like to live and to play down here in sunny South Florida. But more than that, guys, I'm a licensed real estate agent and absolutely love to help people with their real estate needs. So if that's you, when you have any questions about moving down to the Fort Lauderdale area, or if there's anything at all that I can do to help, my information is popping up down below. I'm open 24 seven. You could reach me by phone, text, email, send me a comment. I always look forward to talking to new people. And without further ado, let's get into the seven reasons why you should move to Fort Lauderdale in 2021. Now these are in no particular order, but we'll start off with number one, and this is the main reason um, that people are giving me that are reaching out, that are moving from you know high tax states like New York, New Jersey, California, and coming to the state of Florida, and it's a financial reason. And uh, one of the things that contributes to that is that the state of Florida has no state income tax. So just think of that, guys. Any of your income, you know, your Social Security, your retirement accounts, your pension, they're all free of any sort of state income tax. Now, in some states, the percentage of income tax they pay could be upwards of 13%. So just think about that. If you're making 100 grand a year, that's like $13,000 in savings that you would get by just moving or living down here in the Fort Lauderdale area but not paying uh, state income tax. Now, it's pretty well known that the state of Florida is uh, very popular with retirees. And another reason, other than the weather and the warm climate, is the fact that there's no estate tax here in uh, the state of Florida as well. So what that basically means is anything that you have as far as assets, your home, things like that, when you pass and you wanna leave that to your heirs, there's no um, death tax or estate tax. There is an inheritance tax, but you don't get hit on both ends, which is a really great thing for the family and a huge benefit of living here in Fort Lauderdale. Now, the second reason uh, that you should move or live in Fort Lauderdale is the great location. So Fort Lauderdale is located pretty much directly center, a little bit east of center of Broward County. So no matter where you want to go and visit here in Southeast Florida, um, you really can't come up with a better location. You're under an hour to the tip of um, Palm Beach, which is north, uh, to the tip of Miami, which is south. And so no matter where you want to go, uh, it's a very convenient uh, commute. And it's really, again, it's right in the middle, so it's very convenient. Also, if you're traveling anywhere internationally, uh, the airport in Fort Lauderdale is five minutes, and also you're about an hour to Miami Airport and Palm Beach International Airport. You're also just minutes away, about 10 minutes from Port Everglades, which is another, it's an international seaport. So if you want to go on an international cruise, you can go there as well. So no matter what you want to do or um, where you want to visit here in South Florida or internationally, you can't really come up with a better location than here in Fort Lauderdale. Now, the third reason uh, you should move here to Fort Lauderdale is the weather. So here in Fort Lauderdale, we pretty much have great weather uh, year round. Now the weather is far from perfect and uh, we actually have our best weather during our winter months. It's like between December and April and that's definitely my favorite time of the year as well. Now in the summertime, it gets very, very hot and humid and it can get kind of wet uh, due to the arrival of hurricane season, which brings uh, some tropical storms and possible hurricane. And that uh, season, which is like our wet and hurricane season runs from June through November. Now I did an entire video just on the weather. You can check it out right up here if you're interested. But the main thing about the weather here, guys, it's mostly uh, really, really beautiful weather throughout the year. So anybody that moves here, you usually wind up living a much more active lifestyle just due to the year-round decent weather and all the activities that are available to you down here in Fort Lauderdale. 
which is going to bring us to number four the fourth reason you should definitely move here or live in fort lauderdale is the beaches so fort lauderdale has a beautiful beach it's pretty well known because most people come down here to fort lauderdale beach also miami uh during spring break and not just here in the city of fort lauderdale you know the greater fort lauderdale area or broward county has 23 miles of beaches going up the east coast so there's about nine beaches that you could really enjoy um there's hallandale beach dania beach fort lauderdale beach uh, lighthouse point pompano beach now, i don't know if i uh, named all of them but they're all absolutely beautiful they all offer something a little bit different and it's definitely something that you're going to take advantage of while living here in fort lauderdale now the fifth reason to move to fort lauderdale is all the boating and water activities available to you Now, speaking of waterways and canals, Fort Lauderdale is called the Venice of America and for obvious reasons. Now, the city of Fort Lauderdale is full of canals and bodies of waters and waterways, most of them connected to the intracoastal, which is connected to the ocean. Now, I think the city of Fort Lauderdale has over 100 marinas and over 45,000 uh, registered yachts in the city. So if you're lucky enough to own a home here in Fort Lauderdale uh, that's on one of these canals, you'll have easy access from your own private dock and your own boat to the ocean and back because all the waterways are connected. So if you're a boater, basically Fort Lauderdale is a boater's paradise. You can explore the city at your leisure on the water. Now the sixth reason uh, to move to Fort Lauderdale is the uh, vibrant culture and art scene. Now the art scene here in uh, Fort Lauderdale might not be as well known as the one in Miami, but it's equally as cool. So the premier art district here in Fort Lauderdale is called Fat Village or FAT Village, which really stands for Flagler Arts and Technology Village. Now this area used to be a bunch of empty warehouses and now it's painted up with a bunch of um, murals and everything. And it's really, really an interesting and cool scene. Now, FAT Village is home to the largest and longest running art walk in the county. Uh, this art walk, which happens every month, uh, features local music, art, food, and crafts. There's also the Mass District, and now this is a newer art and entertainment hub. It's located maybe 15 minutes from FAT Village, and this neighborhood is known for its live music, its local breweries, and of course, tons and tons of art. Now, January is Fort Lauderdale's Art and Design Week, and this is where homes along the Intracoastal Waterway transform into art galleries and host open exhibits. Now you could ride up on a water taxi, uh, ride up on your own boat, and even purchase art at these exhibits. Now even if you're not an art collector or you can't afford some of this art, it is really cool to check out otherwise. Now if you're an art enthusiast, you definitely want to visit the NSU Art Museum, the Museum of Discovery and Science, the Coral Springs Museum of Art, and the African American Research Library and Cultural Center. Now, closing out with the seventh reason you want to move here to Fort Lauderdale is the incredible nightlife, restaurants, and clubs. So, Fort Lauderdale has over 4,000 restaurants. Um, I think there's over 120 clubs, and many of these are located in the Riverwalk Arts and Entertainment District. Now, this runs from east to west along Las Olas Boulevard, from the heart of downtown to the beach. The district includes the Broward Center for the Performing Arts and the very famous Elba Room. Now there's other very popular bars and restaurants there. There's Rocco's Tacos, YOLO, Royal Pig Pub and Kitchen, and the very, very famous and fun Shooter's Waterfront. If you're a fan of live music like I am, I definitely think you should check out the Escape Lounge and the Culture Room. Also, they host the annual Tortuga Festival, and this is a great way to see a wide variety of acts all in one place. And for those of you out there that have more refined tastes, don't forget to check out the South Florida Symphony Orchestra. So I want to thank you for watching uh, the video, Seven Reasons to Move or to Live in Fort Lauderdale in 2021. 
And speaking of moving or living here in Fort Lauderdale or anywhere here in South Florida, we would absolutely love to help you with your real estate needs or help you find that perfect place you might be thinking of moving to or just want to go see. But again, in order to do that, you got to reach out. So my information is going to pop up down below again. Uh, you can reach me by phone, text, email, contact me, however you like to communicate. I'm available 24 seven and cannot wait to hear from you. And until next time, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.